Hello beautiful ladies, it's finally spring outside and something is telling me you can't wait to step into a new season and update your style with new spring outfits. And this video is a must watch because we're going to talk about the key essential for the coming season, outwear. Oh yes, what are the top 5 jackets for spring 2024? From leather jackets and bombers to trench coats and parkas, this video is your ultimate guide on finding and styling outwear for the coming season. You will learn how to effortlessly combine jackets with bottoms and shoes because, let's face it, finding the right combination is not always as simple as it seems. Therefore, I decided to show you the most common mistakes in pairing jackets with bottoms and shoes and how to fix them in a matter of seconds. So tune in now and let's prepare your wardrobe for the new season. So first up, short light puffer jacket. It's lightweight, practical, gives you a lot of freedom of movement while keeping you warm. And it's just perfect for those chilly early spring days. When selecting one, it is really essential to find the right balance, lightweight yet warm. Therefore, pay close attention to the feeling material. Goose feathers provide insulation without adding bulk, ensuring you stay cozy without feeling weighed down. Opt for a medium-sized kilting pattern for optimal warmth and a flattering silhouette. Aim for a slightly loose fit to have room for layering underneath, however, I would recommend to avoid fits that are too bulky or oversized. They can overwhelm your frame and look really unflattering. Opt for vibrant colors if you want to add a pop of color to your wardrobe, or if you're a minimalist like me, you can always stay true to your neutral color palette and just go for one shade darker and one shade lighter. I've got two here, they're both from Goelia, one in very light beige and one in black, and of course both colors are so versatile, they pretty much cover all my needs for spring outwear. And here's how most women wear a puffer jacket. But don't take me wrong, it looks okay, practical and comfy, it just lacks a little bit of character. The color combo black, gray and denim blue is too muted. Silhouette-wise, we have equal proportions which most of the time do not add up to the silhouette and look rather dull. No accessories, no focal points, as a result, the outfit looks boring. Let's take it up to the next level. To start with, I swapped blue straight jeans for an off-white, wide leg fit from Goelia. And now I know what you're thinking, who wears white jeans in rainy weather? But this model is not just white jeans. They are made of oil-resistant fabric, which makes them very practical and easy to care. I cinched them with this chunky belt and added a navy blue pullover to create this fresh marine combo. Layered couple necklaces on top and paired the jeans with the same Adidas trainers to balance out wide leg fit. Puffer jacket on top, an extra layer of chunky knit for warmth and added style, my favorite baseball cap and navy blue sunglasses to finish up my look and I am ready. Because of contrasting color combo, black, navy blue and off-white, the outfit looks smarter and fresher, just exactly what I need for early spring. Silhouette-wise, we have raised the waistline and shifted proportions to one-third to two-third. Accessories added up to sporty yet chic vibe of the outfit, so as a result, it still remains very practical and comfy, yet much more elevated compared to the previous one. And talking about pairing outwear with bottoms and shoes, in order to achieve the most flattering effect for your height of figure. Of course, a big part of it is in nailing those perfect fits and silhouettes that work for your unique figure shape and proportions. And guess what? For those who are new to my channel, I've got a little surprise. I have developed an absolutely unique, illustrated, in-depth style portfolio for different figure shapes and height that you can get absolutely for free by going to the link under this video just answering a few questions about your height and figure shape and you will get this guide immediately to your mailbox. It's a very handy, very straightforward, very practical style map with the key winning silhouettes for different figure shapes. 
with different practical tips how to achieve the most flattering effect. And also I have thrown some outfit formulas for different occasions. So I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Going shopping to navigate through this huge amount of clothing out there or declutter your existing wardrobe and come up with new outfit combinations. So please don't forget to check out the link after watching this video, get the guide and start using it in order to look your best and also maximize all the assets you've got. And now my favorite. So tell me, what is the most timeless, versatile and classy outwear staple in any wardrobe? Do you have any idea? Of course, it's the trench coat. I mean, it's magical ability to elevate any of your outfits, creating this effortlessly chic, polished, sophisticated look while remaining absolutely comfortable and practical is what makes a trench coat an ultimate must-have for me. And of course, when selecting the right model, there are some features to consider. Firstly, pay attention to the lining. A well-structured lining helps maintain the coat's shape and adds to its elegance appearance. Next, consider the length. I find that a length just above the knee or slightly longer is the most flattering and versatile option. However, it is important to take your height into account. Taller women can pull off longer coats, while petite ones may prefer length that hits just above the knee. In terms of color, I always opt for more basic shades like beige, gray, chocolate brown, navy blue or black. These classic colors execute for sophistication and pair effortlessly with any outfit. Bright colors can detract from the timeless elegance of the trench coat, so I typically avoid them. When it comes to fit, there are various options to choose from. For classic and feminine silhouette, a tailored belted model is just perfect. However, if you're looking to switch things up, consider a straight single-breasted retro-inspired fit which is, by the way, very trendy this season. And it offers a more relaxed fit that is flattering for those who prefer a bit more room around the midsection. Now it's time to introduce you the sponsor of today's video, someone I'm working with for almost a year now, and it's a fashion brand called Goelia. For those who are not new to my channel, you've probably seen them in my other videos and honestly, I'm wearing them items on repeat day in, day out and it's basically almost like 40% of my wardrobe and I really love their collections and I'm super excited to introduce you their new collection in today's video. All the items I'm wearing are from Goelia. Goelia is a family brand whose core belief is all about being responsible for every little detail in their clothing. You can feel the difference when you touch and wear the pieces. From the top-notch fabrics to the careful stitching and buttons, everything executes quality and attention to the details. What makes them really special is their range of timeless wardrobe staples. With just a few of their well-chosen pieces, you can create a versatile and long-lasting wardrobe. So there is absolutely no need for a massive collection to look chic and up-to-date. It is all about making your life simple and stylish at the same time. As usual, all the information about the products I'm wearing, as well as the sizing and a special promo code, the discount for any of your purchases are in the info box. Please don't forget to check them out after watching this video. And again, here is another combination I see pretty much often on the streets out there. Black wide leg trousers, paired with chunky loafers or nude pumps as a dress-up option. Okay, I would agree it's safe, yet it looks quite dull and slightly dated. A long loose layer of outerwear in combination with wide leg trousers and chunky shoes makes the silhouette rather bulky, whereas nude pumps in combination with black trousers create too much contrast between top and bottom and shorten the legs and the silhouette. Let's see how we can fix it. Starting off with swapping black wide leg trousers for a more tailored option in light beige from Goelia. Adding a belt to add sharp accent to the outfit, layering up with matching waistcoat and blazer, and finishing up the look with black sling bags with kitten heel, medium sized black tote, and dark brown sunglasses. Smart and comfortable, yet modern and chic. And now, do you see the difference? I 
And if you gravitate towards a more practical, sporty vibe, then parka is your go-to alternative to the trench coat. It serves the same purpose, but it offers a more relaxed look and feel. When shopping for parka, keep an eye out for one with a waterproof or water-resistant outer shell to keep you dry on rainy days. The hood is also super handy, just make sure it's functional and not just for the show. Plus the lining not only maintains the shape of the parka, but also adds an extra layer of warmth. Aim for a style that's flattering and comfortable at the same time, with enough room to layer underneath without feeling too bulky. Parkas come in various lengths, so consider what suits you best, but I would still say a longer parka offers more coverage and warmth and is generally more versatile, while shorter style gives you greater freedom of movement. Sorry, I, mommy, sorry, I... And to show you how not to style your parka, I went for wide leg white jeans from my previous look and paired it with wool oversized striped sweater and Adidas slick trainers. Well, there is nothing wrong with color combo, it looks quite nice, but the silhouette is a way too bulky and that's what normally happens when you pair longer outwear with wide leg trousers and flats. I almost drowned in this outfit. Okay, let's fix it. Since I have long loose fitted outwear, I need to pair it with something more tight at the bottom to balance out the silhouette and here's when leggings step into play. My favorite combo for school spring is legging plus oversized cozy chunky knit plus riding boots for a sleek look. Golden tone chunky hoops to support golden buttons on the jumper, medium sized tote and sunglasses and my outfit is ready. Warm, super practical and comfy, yet flattering in terms of silhouette and it looks polished and put together. Left or right? Which one would you go for? And now let's talk about leather jacket. Well, actually, I think this is my favorite, not the trench coat or the trench coat probably as well. I mean, anyways, I love both of them because leather jacket gives this absolutely cool, edgy vibe to any of your outfits. And it's just perfect for transitioning from winter to spring season. Look for jackets made from high quality materials. It can be a lambskin or vegan leather. Pay attention that it's very smooth very thin, a little bit stretchy and not too shiny. Pay close attention to the fit of the jacket. It should feel snug but not too tight, with enough room to layer underneath comfortably. Make sure that the shoulders fit well and the sleeves are the right length. The jacket's shoulder seam should align with where your arm meets your torso. If it extends too far past this point, the jacket is simply too big. If it sits too close inward, the jacket is too small. The sleeve should extend to your wrist bone when your arms are relaxed at your sides. And last not least, a smooth lining adds to the comfort and durability of the garment. Okay, this is how I would not style my leather jacket even if I had no more than two minutes on getting dressed. First of all, two slim fits on top and at the bottom lack balance and elegance. Secondly, both items have very similar style vibe, which is like casual, rock chic, which makes the combination quite predictable and a bit too grounded. Again, nothing is wrong with it, but there's always room for improvement. I prefer to play with contrasting style. So I started with elegant tailored black trousers cinched with a sleek belt and paired them with silk button-up white shirt with golden buttons, both from Goelia golden hoops to support the buttons, kitten heel sling bags and my favorite a vegan leather jacket. And to bring a pop of color to black and white combination, I finished it with absolutely gorgeous cherry red box bag from Celine. I love this look. It has slightly vintage vibe, yet it looks so modern, polished and cool. I could go to the meeting like this, but at the same time, I can go out for a dinner because it is so simple and elegant yet it feels really dressed up. Just compare it to my initial combo. I think you would agree that we have significantly elevated the styling, didn't we?
And last not least is the bomber jacket. Oh yes, this item is quite phenomenal because it overgrew from a trendy item to an absolute ultimate basic wardrobe staple, which is sort of no surprise because it effortlessly blends style with functionality. So you can definitely consider it as a timeless investment in your basic wardrobe. When talking about the colors for the bomber, I think the whole point of bomber revival is that it came back to us not as a sporty item, but in a more tailored, sophisticated and elegant look, also in a more timeless, versatile, sophisticated colors, which made it not a trend, but a more a basic wardrobe staple. So therefore, I would definitely recommend to look at more neutral and basic hues from darker shades such as navy blue, black, chocolate brown, dark gray, to lighter shades such as off-whites or different sorts of beige. Have a look at my outfit. Cargo trousers paired with white t-shirt, Adidas trainers and a bomber jacket. Not bad, yet it lacks elegance and balance. Wouldn't you agree? Even though the bomber is quite tailored, it still is quite roomy. And in combination with voluminous cargo pants, it just adds bulk to the overall silhouette. And again, all items come from the same style vibe. So which makes the look quite exaggerated and predictable. To fix it, I first swapped cargo trousers with classy mid-blue straight leg jeans, added a light blue sweater to create a tonal blue combination with different shades of blue, added matching elegant shoulder bag to level up the sporty outfit and throw my navy blue bomber on top. And there you go! Comfy and sporty, yet more polished and smart. And if I want to add a feminine touch to it and play with contrasting vivid colors, I can just swap the jeans for a maxi leather skirt, add a pop of red and there you go. Feminine, silhouette, yet cool and sporty vibe. One, two or three, which one you would go for? Voila, that was it for today. I really hope that this video was both inspiring and useful for you. Please let me know in the comments what is your ultimate must-have when it comes to spring outwear. I'm really curious and thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!